As we were talking about, fall season is uh, certainly here. Yep. That's pretty obvious. And allergies are back as well for a lot of people. Dealing with those allergies, in fact, now can be just about as challenging as in the springtime. ABC's Alexis Christophorus has more on why that is exactly and what you could do now to ease your symptoms. More than 50 million Americans suffer from allergies. And while some people have allergic reactions all year round, there are differences in the fall versus the spring. Spring allergies are mostly due to pollen. Pollen's found in the trees, the grass, while in the fall, the main culprit is going to be the ragweed and mold. Mold can develop in damp environments, so it's important to check for moisture and water leaks in your home. Mold is also found outdoors. If someone's raking leaves and they leave them stagnant outside, that can also cause increased in allergies, as well as cold fronts. Uh, the wind actually puts the mold spores into the air. The colder weather of fall and winter can also lead to allergy problems. When you haven't used your heater, you have all of that dust kind of collected there. And then once you turn on your heater for the first time, all of that dust disperses with the dust mites, which usually trigger people's allergies as well. If you have allergies, experts say there are some things you can do to lower your exposure. Wear a mask when you're around allergens, like when dusting or cleaning your home or doing yard work. Avoid outdoor activities in the midday hours when pollen is at its peak. Shut your windows at home and in your car. Shower and change your clothes after outside activity. And to mitigate symptoms, antihistamines and allergy shots can bring relief for some. I would say if you are suffering from allergies year long, definitely come and talk to your doctor. There's other ways that we can help navigate so that way you don't have to suffer in silence. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York.